Hey, what's going on, YouTube? AA Ron here. We are... It is Monday. We are looking at the new update, and here is what we got. Um, and I'm gonna... Th this video is just gonna be purely me going over the ships, showing a few of the, the, the things for the new update, and that's it. There's no gameplay, there's no uh, advanced tips, there's... there's a f I'm gonna go over the research bureau at the end, so for the people that asked me in my last video, I think a few people had a couple questions on how to complete it for the Conquer. Uh, in different ships, because there are two new ships. Um, I'll be going over that at the end. I will try and timestamp it and the pinned comment down below. Guys, really look at that pinned comment for, for stuff uh, on a lot of videos. But here is the Kong versus Godzilla. It was thought to be uh, an April Fool's type deal, but it, it actually came. Uh, and of course, per Wargaming fashion, there was a huge controversy on PC. And I hope to avoid that controversy here. Uh, I'm not going to get into the whether I really like this or not um wargaming gave me both the ships we're going to go over them real quick but here's the deal you can get one ship for twenty thousand doubloons or both of them for 28 so if you really want them i would go ahead and just get both uh guys wargaming is a business so we need to understand that they need to make money uh they can't just rely on wallet warriors like me to to buy crates uh every time and there will be a crate video coming but let's go ahead and look at both the ships and then both unique commanders uh there are also crates as to look at as well but here is Kong. That's actually a pretty... I really like the camo and the design. Uh, now, if it's the same as PC, the the gorilla or monkey will not be on the ship when you take it into battle. Uh, so, just a heads up. That's not going to be a giant monkey floating around on, on your New Mexico. But this is basically a New Mexico. There are some similarities. Um, I believe it's... Let's look at the stats here. Now, we do not have Sims... On this so it might be the same actually let's go ahead and do that just to make sure that it's not the exact same ship nope that's Norman Scott fifty five thousand fifty five thousand so yeah I think it's it's pretty much the the exact same as the New Mexico but you do have the nice camo with the unique traits, 34.2, uh, 18.9, yeah, it, I think it's the exact same ship, I, I didn't really truly read the patch notes, uh, because like, like I said guys, to be honest, this stuff doesn't really excite me anymore, um, it, it, I'm not for the, the historical accuracy, uh, deal about it, but yeah. So let's go look at the commander for it, and then we'll look at the uh, Godzilla, and then the Champagne briefly. I will be doing a, a video later, hopefully later today. I, like I said, I have lecture in about 10 minutes. Just wanted to get a quick video out there. Here's Kong, pretty pretty good base trait um, with the the introduction of carriers, as we see. Your battleships average AA damage per second, um, and Wargaming graciously gave me them at 10.1, so if we get them even more, I think you can... If that's about half, it looks like you can get almost up to maybe 10%, um, or a little over half there, so... This looks like another Brawling Commander? Yeah, because he's got Brawler there, and then Porcupine, so maybe for the Massachusetts, this might be good. And then here it looks like the uh, each of these new commanders have like one of these unique traits, and here it is. Increase, excuse me, increase the damage of your battleship's AA guns and improve AA turret survivability. Okay, so that will be helpful with the uh, Conquer smashing everything with HE. All right, Firefighter on site. Yeah, that's also going to be a good one. Then we've got Will, Running with Scissors, and that. Did we go over all of them? Not one for Nuisance, Brawler, Ally Air, Occupine, Crisscross, this, this, Master Mechanic. All right. That is Kong, so another American battleship brawling captain, and let's go ahead and look at Godzilla. Oh, did I pass it? I did. It's, what is it called? Primal or... Heat Ray, Heat Ray. That's the ship name, and then you get Godzilla with this. This one actually is a really cool camo, and they, I'm pretty sure someone along the way was like, yo, we should put him right next to the Fuso Pagoda. Because it's just like sitting on top of there and it's like barely as tall as it. <laughs> it's hilarious. Fuso, the, the the memed Fuso Pagodas on top of Pagodas is, is funny. But here it is. It is it is a Fuso at tier five. So again, guys, I, I me personally, 
I, I'm not wasting my money on this. Um, and y you have to realize that this is Wargaming's way of getting their game out there. Because I make these videos, and if the YouTube algorithm picks up Kong or Godzilla or something in the title, it could spike you know, the algorithm and get a new player interested in the game. So that, that's why they do these things. Uh, that, you know, again, they're not, it, it's a free-to-play game, so we can't just expect them to give every, you know, everything for free and not you know, have people spend money. So if you want to spend your money on it, go for it. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Uh, they, these people have to eat, too. So <laughs> that's, I, I look at it that way. I don't really get too upset with kind of silly, these silly crossovers. Let's go and look at Godzilla. Reduce spotter reload time and increases duration. Absolutely, utterly useless base trait. Don't know why you would have that. Maybe with Leon's as an inspiration. But that's like such a unique... I I hate builds that you can only use in like very limited, unique circumstances. Like, I'm not wasting my time just to put a spotter plane with Leon's that I can use for 20 seconds. Yeah, whatever. You guys get the point. Uh, I think it's another... No, this is like an Accuracy Dispersion Commander. I saw this trait, and I thought it might be good for Yamato, but you lose the Dispersion, uh, which is really what you want in Yamato. Yamato is a pure sniper. Family Cannoneer, I'll get today's work. All Out Air, Gyring Jilbrits, Crisscross, Marksmanship. This is one of the best perks in the game with Dispersion. Um, thick Hide, Proper meticulous and then range, and then you have these three. Uh, so maybe a decent commander for Yamato with the Thick Hide if you want to sacrifice Dispersion. Um, because it's risk of catching fire decrease as well as uh, amount of HP recovered from fire damage or you know damage um, that you can heal back. Uh, you, you cannot heal Citadel damage back, or for the most part only like 10%. And after a while, Penetration damage um, as well. You can heal that back, but like Fire damage and, and Flooding damage you can heal either nine, like 80 or 90 or in some ships it might be all of it back so just keep that in mind when you're using your heals and you know giving broadside and things like that but those are the two ships and let me get a nice little clickbait what, who should we clickbait god godzilla or kong oh yeah i guess we could look at the ship stats for this one too Fifty-seven thousand. this is with a 10-1 uh godzilla selected and no perks selected, so just keep that in mind. But if you guys really want to look at it, I I think maybe the armor, I don't know. Guys, I, I really don't know what they changed about this ship. Um, if it's the Fuso with a paint job, uh, someone's going to tell me in the comments below, like, wow, you're a terrible CC. And it's I, I, I really just don't care. If you, you want to truly investigate these ships to see if you purchase them and there's any differences, be my guest. But it's a Fuso in a New Mexico. Um, what are you looking at? Loadout... Stats. Overview. Okay. Yeah, look at all the superstructure. <laughs> okay, moving on with the update, we have the Champagne. Briefly go over that. I'm going to do a full video on it later. We'll just take a quick peek at her. This is just, like I said, the just, just an update video. And then I, I'm already late for lecture. We have Jajard on her. Hmm. Come on. We'll just look at the stats. 52,000. Pathetic. Six guns at 406 millimeter. The 406 millimeter is awesome, but six is pathetic. A defense is average. Maneuverability, average. A little bit above average. Uh, and then concealment, not too great, not too terrible. I'd say 14.7. It's not really that good at all, but your French battleship. Pretty good armor, like most French battleships. Lot of lot of uh, casemate there. A lot of mid mid deck armor that you can kind of get really shot at. But you got that auxiliary R room, and I believe there's spaced armor on all these French battleships, leading to very difficult uh, chance of citadel. Sit with the citadel there. Oops, there she is. All right. And then lastly, the Research Bureau. There are two new ships, um, and I'm probably missing something, but again, I just wanted to show the Kong Godzilla real quick. The Wooster and the Club Air. So I actually already started these projects uh, kind of by mistake, but if not, you just you, you press A on the project and you hold down A to start it. Uh, now, with without premium time, so as you can see, I have two years of premium <laughs> just from crate videos and different things like that. 
Um, without premium time, you will only be able to do one project. As you can see on the left side of the screen there, it says Active Projects Kleber, Active with Premium, the Wooster. With premium time, you can do two projects at the same time. So, you click on the project, you click on the segment, and you see I have every ship and every uh, commander. So if you don't have them, you, you would consider maybe upgrading them. Um, with Scott and Lee selected here, I get an additional eight research tokens per second. That's gonna help the project boost along much faster. On top of that, you have ships to select from. And again, it's a way of wargaming to get you to spend money. I actually need to tell them to give me this back or submit a ticket because I sold this a long time ago. Never, ever, ever sell premium ships, guys. Um, unless you just absolutely utterly hate it. I sold this, I'm pretty sure I sold the Dunker at the time for credits. That's how long ago this game was. Or la how long ago uh, <laughs> this, uh, that happened, yeah. I, I wouldn't recommend selling tech tree ships either. But you select these ships, and like we said, the premium ship will give you one extra token per second. So I would try to select that ship if you have it. Then we have your daily trials. You complete those to get an extra 100,000 here. And then, the, the again, the premium gives you a little bit more. Um, and that will boost it a well, boost it along as well. And we're gonna go to the club air because I actually want to boost this just maybe once or twice with some doubloons. We will show you what that will do. Again, select your commander. Um, obviously, you want to select the ones you have. I don't have Makarov. Uh, I think upgraded at all. Yeah. Uh, so make sure it's commanders you're using. Like if you have these two, you don't really need to upgrade this guy, but it it might be worth it later down the road. Now, near the end of the, the stages, you're going to have to get commanders up to 15 and 16, um, at least 14. So just keep that in mind. You know, you, at the end of these stages, if you don't play the game a lot, you, it's going to tick very slowly. Um, and I, I like that for the people who haven't played it as long, but I also hate that because, you know, I want everyone to get a chance to get these ships. But at the same time, it's like, you know, I, I want some people to have experience, but we digress. As you can see here, we ha we do have the Duca because Wargaming gave it to me. Thank you, Wargaming. I need to get the Fantastic. It, it was nerfed today, so... <laughs> oh well. Won't get this strong. And is and like we said before, if you have this ship, it, select it. It gives you an extra research token per second at 4 as opposed to 3. And then again, you complete your dailies. Now, on top of this, this is all the free ways to do it. And per Wargaming fashion, there's always a pay-to-win way which is boosting. So if you can see, I can apply a break breakthrough here. And I'm not gonna lie, when the Alaska first came out, I spent, every, I was on top of my daily, I was one of the first people to get it. Um, and that actually helped propel my YouTube channel to to the top, really. Not to the top, but to, to where I wanted it at the time. Um, but I wouldn't recommend this if, you know, you're a kid like me in college and stuff. Uh, you know, just, where money isn't, you don't really have an income. Um, but we went ahead and boosted it. As you can see, we boosted to stage two. Now you can only boost, I think, 40% of the stage. So we're gonna go ahead and do it again. And then, so that's two of one of five, two of five. And here's, yeah, you can only boost it to halfway to three of five. Um, but if you do that for every stage, you will complete this project. And I believe like they said, 60 days is the earliest you can complete it. Uh, it it's, it's a long, very, annoying grind and I really hate the way they've done legendary uh, it just leads to matchmaking that people have no idea what they're doing I think a minimum requirement and I actually wouldn't even fulfill this requirement but if I really want to play this ship you should the last requirement should be you have to have like 10 games in the tech tree 7 of that ship for example if this is the club or the French destroyer you need 10 games in the fantastic I, I think that's a very simple requirement that would get people to understand the mechanics of the game at the very least. Like right now, you could just play this game, like you could play like three games to get out of AI and then start researching the Yamato. Like those people have no concept of the game, but we all know my, my thoughts and feelings on that. And guys, these, a lot of you were kind of tricked by the clickbait last time on the Conqueror. The, these ships are not really overpowered. They're just, for the time being, with the limited the limited number of ships in the game, each ship is going to feel overpowered. So don't don't get tricked by the clickbait. But yeah, guys, that is how to do the research bureau. That is Kong and Godzilla. Uh, and the champagne video is later to come today. I have lecture right now, actually. So uh, this is just a quick video. Chat, I will be back later in about an hour to play the champagne. 
uh, which will lead to a video later on in the day. So I appreciate you guys watching. Hope that was briefly informative. I just wanted to show all the information. A, -A run out. Have a great day. Peace.